when visiting Spain, can you still use your EHIC card if you need to visit the doctor? True or false? It's true. You certainly can. Um, as you mentioned, EU exit, um, Sarah said that reciprocal healthcare was continuing, which means basically that we have a healthcare agreement between the UK and the EU. Um, and that includes the use of the EHIC card or the new GHIC card as well. Um, all of those cards are valid until the expiry date. You just have to make sure that you take them to a public hospital or health centre. Okay, that's really, really important. They're not accepted in private health uh, hospitals or health centres. So when my EHIC card expires next year, what do I need to do to generate a new GHIC card? Well, um, you just have to visit the GHIC portal, which I think you have the link for, um, and just apply for a new card in the same way as you applied for a previous card. But it's very important that people remember that the current EHICs are valid until their expiry date. That was an agreement that we had. So they don't need to worry about applying for a new GHIC now. They can wait until that card, the current card expires. And the EHIC card was never a substitute for private uh, uh, travel insurance, was it? It's, it's supplementary to that. Well, that's one of our big key messages. Um, we always advise people to take out comprehensive travel insurance when they're visiting Spain. Um, or anywhere else in the EU, the EHIC and the GHIC, they don't cover everything. Um, one of the most important things that they don't cover is medical repatriation. Um, and we have had those cases and, and medical repatriation is very expensive. So we would encourage people to make sure they have comprehensive health insurance and it covers any pre-existing conditions they have and it also covers medical repatriation. So that really is fantastic news for somebody visiting their holiday home or indeed just uh, simply on holiday, but it doesn't function uh, as a resource for somebody who's making a permanent move, does it? No, it doesn't. It's only for people who are ordinarily resident in the UK. Um, people who actually move abroad would have to register on the Spanish system. And I should also add as well that when people are traveling, the rules have changed for that slightly now, um, because we're now considered to be third country nationals. Um, we can only spend 90 out of every 180 days in Spain. Um, and if people want to stay any longer, they have to check very carefully the requirements with the Spanish authorities. Thank you, Martin. And Martin, on the EHIC card, soon to be replaced by GHIC, I have a subsequent question on prescriptions. If I'm going out there on stay in my holiday home for less than 90 days, but maybe up to 90 days, how do I um, ensure that I'm going to get an adequate supply of, uh, of my prescription? Well, firstly, what people should do is they should bring medication with them from the UK. They can normally get a prescription from an NHS GP for at least two months, maybe longer. Um, and they should bring that medication in person with them. Um, they should not courier it because it could well be seized at customs. So definitely bring it with them on their person. Um, if they haven't got enough to cover all of their uh, trip abroad, what they can then do is use the EHIC or the GHIC in a public health centre or hospital to get further supplies of that medication. So take it with you, get it in Spain, don't post it out. Exactly. Spot on. Thank you, Martin.